Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. I thought today for Friday we would take a look at the lesson from the letter to the Hebrews, which is our morning prayer lesson, the second lesson from morning prayer. Uh, and remember the last few days we've done uh, from Ephesians, uh, we've done a talk about faith and our salvation is by faith through grace. Well, here the letter writer to the Hebrews is building on a similar theme. Uh, chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were form, framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, which by which he obtained witness that, that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness, which is of, by faith. By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should receive an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, in a strange company, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs of him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength, conceived seed, and was delivered of a child when she was of age, or past age, because she judged him faithful, who had promised. Therefore sprang even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on earth. That they say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if it had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had an opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country. That is, and heavenly. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. Okay, so remember, we were talking about faith through works, uh, faith through grace in our particular uh, lesson that we heard from a uh, doorbell going off this early in the morning. Um, but we talked about this, uh, the faith by grace, right? But here we hear about these actions of the patriarchs, all these things that the patriarchs did as actions. And in fact, looking at that, the writer of the letter to the Hebrews says that these are actually faith-filled actions, that they did these things on faith, that in fact their moving towards salvation had to do with faithfulness, which is really wonderful and grace-filled. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, later on in the letter to the Hebrews will we'll concentrate on Abraham, the fact that Abraham, it was reckoned unto him as righteousness, in other words, faithfulness, that he even took his son to be sacrificed, right? Uh, that, that it's not the actions that these patriarchs did, Abraham, Noah, Isaac, but the fact that they were faithful and willing to move forward in faith, to do these things, right? And in the end, it's faith and grace. That is all and all. Okay, so today's Friday. We no, no service is scheduled for today. Uh, it's Father Kelly's day off from the office. But, uh, but of course, we hope we're still saying our prayers uh, at home uh, and, of course, watching our morning meditations. And God willing, on Sunday, we'll see you in church.